Good morning guys. <sighs> Welcome back to another video. This morning I have a four hour and 20 minute ride, but it's an exciting one because it will be the first long ride of training that I take that bad boy outside. I'm doing it, it says it might rain a little bit. I don't care. I don't even care anymore. It's today's the day. Today's the day I've been waiting for. I went and picked up my bike yesterday from the bike shop, so now I have the aero bars on it. I have the bottle up front to drink while I am in aero. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to test it out today. But first, I wanna eat my breakfast. I got some oatmeal. Gonna eat a banana. It is currently 6.06 .06 in the morning, and my goal is to be out by 6.30. So let me go ahead and put this down, and let's get into nutrition. So for nutrition, I'm actually gonna try to keep it pretty simple today. As you guys know, last week I tried this precision fuel and hydration drink mix. It has 60 grams of carbs and 1,000 milligrams of sodium uh, each serving. I'm going to use that again. I ended up getting the bottle that goes in between my arrow bars. So I'm gonna fill this up with water and then I'm gonna put three scoops of this in here or three servings so it's going to be a total of 180 grams of carbs in this bottle 3,000 milligrams of sodium in here so i'm going to sip on this throughout the ride i've been wanting to try this but i got the precision fuel and hydration flow gel apparently i guess what a lot of people used to do is they would just squeeze a lot of their regular gels into a bottle add a little bit of water and then kind of drink it just to get their gels down easier. So Precision Fuel and Hydration, I'm not sponsored by them, by the way, but they made this gel that is kind of like that, so it's easier to put into a bottle and squeeze out. So I ended up ordering that, this came in this week, but what's nice is it comes with this bottle that you can fill up and so you know how many carbs you're taking down and you can kind of just watch the bottle. So I'm gonna fill this up with 180 grams of carbs so with these two total, it's gonna to be what, 360? Sorry, it's still a little early to do math, but 360 grams of carbs, and then I'm gonna take a, caffeine, a Martin caffeine gel. So that's all the carbs I'm going to take with me today, and I honestly probably won't need all of them because really the goal is going to be to be around 80 to 85 grams of carbs per hour, so that is going to be the plan. And we're just gonna see how my body does with it. I'm gonna be taking in more sodium than I did last week, which I felt like I needed at the end of the workout last week. So we shall see how it goes. I think one more thing I wanna order to make sure I have is still to have more sodium on hand. So I'm gonna order some sodium packets uh, to go into this water bottle because I still have another water bottle slot on the bike now. So then I'll have extra sodium in this just to sip on, but no carbs, because I won't need any more extra carbs, I don't think, at least for like a four hour and 20 minute ride like I have today. That's the nutrition plan for today. In just a minute, once I finish eating and drinking my coffee and hopefully get a bowel movement before I get out there for a long ass ride, I will show you my bike setup, but maybe I'll wait till I get outside because I really don't want to talk any louder than I am now because Barry and Lucky are still sleeping. And the number one rule when it comes to training uh, this early is to not wake the people that live with you. <laughs> so let me finish this and let's get outside to do this damn thing. I'm so excited to finally get outside and do a long bike workout. It's gonna be a fun day. Let's see what this consistency looks like. I haven't tried this yet either. So hopefully I, <laughs> hopefully I like it. I hope this is a waste. Oh, just squeeze this bad boy. Ooh, ew. Yeah, so now you can see I have 180 grams in here. It's kind of cool. Hopefully it goes down smoothly. Let's go try it there. Okay, real quick before I get going, I just wanted to show my new setup. Uh, that I'm super excited about and of course <clears throat> it just started raining but I don't think it's supposed to last long 
this rain is not stopping me from getting out on this bike, but let's take a look at it. So I got the zip arrow bars put on with the arrow bottle. They are adjustable arrow bars. And then this is just my Insta360 camera so I can film, of course. I got this little storage unit put on it as well. Just honestly for right now, I have my cell phone in it, but I can fit more nutrition. So I have some gels in there, but for race day, I'm really gonna need that. And then I've had these on here and I got a new chain, but yeah, the new setup is looking great. So now it's time to just get out there and start this ride, even though it's like pouring down rain, of course. Let's just get this thing started, even though it's raining. It's just trying to give me a hard time for me finally wanting to get outside. It's starting to rain. I think it's only supposed to rain though for this first 30 minutes or so, and then it should stop, hopefully. But I really wasn't wanting it to rain for my first time clipping in on the road and months it only makes sense though that my first time really riding out here i don't count the other day is in the rain when it's nasty outside when the last time that i did it was during my half iron man back in september in jones beach it was during a tropical storm so it's only fitting that i start the way i ended Workout is officially started. Four hours, 20 minutes. Should be nice and fun. As long as it will stop raining soon. That's really all I want. Sorry if this footage at first might be a little blurry looking because of the water droplets on my lens, but it'll get better, especially once it stops raining. I am headed to Central Park now. Gonna do one loop in Central Park just to kind of get the legs warm. And then I will probably head over to the west side to ride up north to get onto the George Washington Bridge and head over into New Jersey. Oh shit, you know what I forgot? I forgot my glasses. I knew I was gonna forget something. You know, riding inside doesn't sound too bad right about now. It's freaking windy, rainy, about 51 degrees out. Perfect weather for an outdoor bike ride. Okay, I made it in the park. Gonna get one lap in, like I mentioned, just to warm up. Ooh, bumpy. I think my biggest worry is just the fact that I'm gonna be wet. And so even when it stops raining, I hope I'm not gonna be freezing cold. Or should I go in the arrow? Should I test it out? Nobody around me. Ah, look at me. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. All right, but hit a nice little downhill. First little downhill on the arrows. Let's check it out. Wow, this position is just like so relaxed. This is beautiful. I am starting Harlem Hill, which this is one of the biggest hills in Central Park. I'm not really sure what the elevation is though, but this is gonna be a good hill for me to do a lot in training. Well, for the remainder of training. Obviously for Lake Placid. Penn State's supposed to have a good amount of elevation too. So I gotta be ready for that as well. Gotta love the burn. <sighs> Survived. Let's go back in arrow, we're going downhill. All right, I'm gonna finish up this loop and I'll see you guys on the west side. I made it to the west side highway. So now I'm headed up north, I'm 36 minutes in. But this ride has been a battle already through the weather, but luckily the rain has stopped for now. I don't know if it's gonna come back or not. I hope it stops. My feet are freezing cold. <laughs> I had to get out of Central Park. It was just getting kind of hectic because there's, oh shit. There is that, some kind of cycling race going on and people were flying past me, but this is much nicer. I feel like I haven't done that great with my nutrition this first hour, but I think it's just because I've been distracted by the weather 
and everything else going on. But let's give it a try. I've never even had Precision Fuels regular gels, so I honestly have no idea what to expect here. That's actually really good. It's like a little sweet, but not too sweet. Wow, I like that a lot. Highly recommend that. It's kind of dangerous though. I feel like I would drink it way too fast just because it tastes pretty good. I will say so far guys, I am a big fan of precision fuel and hydration. Hello. It seems like the rain has officially ended for good, hopefully, but I am getting closer to the George Washington Bridge. I'll swing the camera around so you can kind of see it. It's a really pretty sight though. It's so peaceful up here. You're kind of starting to get out of the city a little bit, which is pretty nice. But yeah, that's what I am going to be riding over here shortly. And then we will be in New Jersey. Just now entering the bridge. God, I haven't been on this bridge in so long. This is nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that guy's in a good mood. Honestly, this ride would be great. I'm not that cold. If it wasn't for my feet being freezing cold from honestly just getting wet. It looks like I stepped in a mud puddle down there. I was wearing white socks, but wait till you see them later. I just crossed the border. So I'm technically now in New Jersey. So if, I, if you look over here, I'll turn the camera around where you see all those trees. That is where I am riding to. And that's when I'm really gonna get to practice with these arrow bars. Okay, I just made it to Jersey. I'm on the Palisade, if you can see. God, it feels so nice being outside on this bike. But my feet are freezing cold, so I'm just trying to warm them up a little bit and wiggle, wiggle them as much as I can. But yeah, so now I am really about to hit like the main parts of this workout because there's no cars, there's no people. It's literally just hills throughout. So I'm gonna really get some practice on these arrow bars, which I'm excited for. I need to, I'm actually gonna take this caffeine gel because I didn't do the, the best in that first hour, but I have three hours and like 10 minutes left. I'm gonna spend a lot of time on the Palisade and just try to crank out some miles, crank out some elevation and see how we do and get some practice on these bars. So let's get this bad boy going. I'm excited. Oh, my bottles are so disgusting and there's like mud all over them. Well, all future rides are gonna be easier than this one, I guess. Let's crank out the rest of this time. We got some free roads, not many people, no cars. Well, every now and then there might be a car, but let's get it. Oh, shit. Let's go ahead and put these arrow bars into action. Let's just please be safe. Yeah, this is real nice. This is what I have missed about these long bike rides. It's honestly just getting out of the city for a little while. Just look how nice and peaceful this is. I'll swing around on the camera and you can see that there's literally nobody in sight, no cars. You can hear the nature, it's pretty great. Look at that view. Woo! Let's go, baby. I've missed these days so much. Yeah, see, this is when I would love to see what wattage I'm pushing, or at least see the cadence. But I'm just gonna have to go off of fill. I will admit, I'm a little chilly. I'm coming up on a climb here, and this one is actually pretty challenging. I've done it a few times, so this is the first big challenge of today, climb-wise. Look at this waterfall up here. This is pretty, because it rained, it's even heavier. 
Look at that. It's so cool. Oh yeah. I forgot what this was like. I can't wait to go down this hill. Ooh. All right, as much as I have been, oh shit. This is nice. As much as I have been climbing on Swift, it's hard to really prepare for the real thing. Hopefully you can hear me. I am flying right now. Shit. Kind of sketchy with the roads being wet. Oh yeah. We're flying now, baby. 30 miles an hour. Look at that. All the way back down. Oh shit. Back down to sea level. About to be an hour and a half in. I'll check back in in just a little bit. Okay guys, I am an hour and 42 minutes in, but unfortunately, I gotta make an executive decision. My feet, I can't feel them. They're like completely numb right now. They're soaking wet and it's like getting hard to push much power just because I can't feel them. So I'm making the executive decision to start heading back. It's still gonna take me a while to get back, but I just don't wanna risk it getting any worse. I'm not trying to be stupid. I have plenty, plenty more long rides coming, but at least I was still able to get some riding in today, especially on these aero bars. Next week is an active recovery week. So I have a little bit of a ride to do next weekend, but not like a super long one. I'll probably just do that in Central Park. But in two weeks from now, I'll have my next like really long ride. So hopefully then the weather will be better. It won't be raining. I'm still proud of what I did get done today, which I'm not even close to being done. I still have a while till I get back, but I've made the decision to turn around. Don't hate me for it. I really hope I don't get sick from all this. I was already trying to fight a little bit of a sickness this week, which I think I beat it. I started feeling better, but now I probably just messed myself up again. I do love these aero bars. It's so nice when you're hitting a nice little decline and you can kind of just relax. Lean forward and just go for the ride. Oh shit. Picking up speed now, baby. I feel like wherever I lack in climbing during the race, I'll just have to make up on the downhills. Cause I'm, I'm okay with like flying downhill. It doesn't scare me too much, at least yet. Cause I haven't fallen doing it. So I know some people are a little hesitant going fast downhill. So I feel like that's where I might be able to have an advantage, but we'll see. We shall see. I had to get off the bike for a second just to try to like take a few steps and warm up my feet a little bit because it was just, you just can't feel them, it hurts. But it has been nice getting the bike outside and not being on the trainer besides the miserable conditions. But I am back in Manhattan. I crossed back over it. I was, so I was riding all of that. That's the Palisade. That's where I was riding up and down. Got some really good practice on my aero bar. So now I'm back in Manhattan, going to ride back down the West Side Highway, over in the Central Park, get home, try to warm my feet up a little bit, 
and then I need to go out on a run. So I don't normally like taking stops and break taking breaks like this during these long rides, but I have to warm up the feet a little bit, man. Just made it back. You know, I had such a nice shiny bike right before this ride and now it looks absolutely disgusting now. So that's just great. These socks, by the way, were white when I started and here's how we're doing. But just finished. The ride ended up only being two hours and 50 minutes. Honestly, probably close to three hours because there was a few times where I forgot to start my watch. Again, not the most ideal first ride outside. At least we did something. Next time will be better. I already know next time will be better, so I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. But I am proud of the fact that I got to really break in these aero bars today. So that's a plus. I absolutely love these things. One thing I noticed that I'm definitely gonna have to improve and really focus on moving forward is my nutrition. I think today I was just kind of all over the place because there's a lot going on with the weather and how I was feeling, so I wasn't really paying attention to my nutrition much. But I gotta make sure I put more of a focus on that because it was definitely lacking today. Let me take this bike upstairs. I really wish there was a way for me to wash it off. This is where it'd be nice if I lived in a house and not an apartment complex. <sighs> okay, let me figure this out. I'm so happy I actually found a water hose outside of my building. Thank God. I feel much better about this now. Now I just need to go upstairs and dry it off. It feels so nice to have dry socks and shoes on right now. I hope it doesn't hurt too bad to run on them. I need to stop being a baby. That's what I need to stop doing. No more talking negative negatively today. But I think it's just a 30 minute run off the bike. Once I press go, I'll find out. I didn't look at the training peaks. Usually it's around 20 minutes to 30 minutes. Honestly, I don't really care how long this run is. I'm just happy that my feet are defrosting. All right, 30 minutes. So you're gonna crank this out and then end this workout. I think one reason I'm upset is just because I don't really like starting workouts but not finishing them, like at least to the, the time allotted. So, I don't know, I'm a little frustrated that I had to end the bike early today. But again, just trying to remind myself that at least I did something, and something is better than nothing. My feet are finally starting to warm up. It's feeling good. Oh, I miss this feeling. You know, the feeling of being able to feel your toes really nice. Oh, fuck. Run complete. I really pushed it on that run since I didn't get the full bike ride in. I just wanted to try to go balls to the wall to at least finish strong, you know. 30 minutes, 4.34 miles. My average pace was 6.55. It's definitely my fastest pace that I've been able to do off of the bike but then again it wasn't as long as the bike ride as I thought it was gonna be but I mean it's still almost three hours which is pretty good oh shit that one hurt that is not race pace I'd survive maybe 15 minutes of that pace and then throw up the white flag and surrender for the rest of the race if I try to do that fast of course it's like Look, look at this. Blue skies, nice and sunny. Why couldn't it have been like this for my ride? Overall, good day, kind of. I'm happy that I got that bike ride in. And good run. And now it's time to go home. I need to get some coffee in my body. Shower. I'm excited for a nice warm shower. My feet feel like they're still defrosting a little bit. So that hot shower is gonna feel really nice. And then we have tea at the plaza today, which should be interesting. I'm kind of looking forward to it, it'll be cool. I've never again been in the plaza, so. But that's the rest of the day. And then tomorrow I have a long run. I think it's 
two and a half hours maybe. I'm not sure. I gotta look at it. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. We have arrived. Look how pretty this is. Oh yeah. I was talking about this on my ride earlier, how I've never been in the plaza. I've only seen it on the movie, Home Alone. Are you excited? Yeah, it's probably gonna be what, little small bites? Cheers. What is that? Oh, macaroons? These look really good. These little sandwich things. And then what's in here? Ooh. I was just looking in there. Thank you. What if I would have asked you? Do you guys have sweet tea? Oh, it's hot. This is a perfect post uh, long workout meal. I just finished up at the plaza. Barry had to go home because she wasn't feeling too well. The only reason I didn't go with her is because I'm actually going to meet up with a buddy for just a few. And hopefully it's just a few because I and starting to get pretty tired, especially after that champagne. That didn't help. Um, but I highly recommend going to get tea at the plaza. It's a little pricey, but definitely a pretty cool experience. I weirdly filled up on all the small bites. I wasn't expecting to. When I saw it come out, I was like, there's no way this is going to fuel me after the workout that I did. It probably wasn't good enough, but it at least did the job for now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, the brick workout wasn't, it didn't go to plan, but that's okay. Not all things are always gonna go to plan. What matters the most is that I still got something in. It felt nice to use the arrow bars. And next week and the following weeks will hopefully be better, especially as the, the weather starts getting better and better. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks again for everyone who has ordered shirts so far. It really does mean a lot that you guys are ordering them and that you like them. Um, I love this shirt a lot. I just ordered actually a few more colors. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.